John Stuart Mill had a fascinating life. To understand John Stuart Mill, we should start by talking about his father, James Mill, who is also known as the Elder Mill. James Mill was an intellectual in 19th century Britain, and he came to accept the theories of a man named Jeremy Bentham. Bentham is often seen as the father of the ethical theory known as utilitarianism. Utilitarianism says that we should always act in the ways that would produce the best consequences for everyone affected in the long run. Bentham was a terrible writer. Okay, he was a, he was a genius, but he was a terrible writer. His, the, what James Mill did was take Bentham's ideas and rewrite them in a form that people could understand. That was his big contribution. Right? Now remember, the theory is that we should always do what would produce the best consequences for everyone affected in the long run, right? One way to think of it is you add up all the good that would be done, you subtract out all the bad, and you figure out how things result. So, James Mill said, well, I have some children. Particularly, I have this genius son named John Stuart Mill. So what will be the best for everyone? It will be to put him through a relentless, intense, educational process to hone his genius so that he can go out and do all kinds of intellectual work that will be good for the world. Particularly, I assume, hoping he'd carry on the utilitarian philosophy. Right. Well, this plan worked to some extent, right? He, Mill, the younger Mill was a genius, right? He was getting a very excellent education and it eventually drove him to a nervous breakdown. Right. So he has this nervous breakdown, he gets over it and he makes some important improvements on Bentham's utilitarianism. If you're interested in what those improvements are, take my class in ethics. For now, the important thing to know is that Mill wrote a, many works on different aspects of philosophy, including logic, ethics, and politics. One of the things he's best known for today is this short work called On Liberty, right, which he wrote relatively late in its life. Right? It was very widely read at the time. Many people read it and responded to it. And it has continued to exercise an influence to this day. 